Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to Channel Code X. I'm your host Afzal, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome animation inside Flutter. Now you can utilize this same animation for any kind of application, but this example I'm going to use banking mpin page. So to make it easy, I have divided this complete video into three different parts. The login page where we are going to define the complete user interface, the controller, the widget of mpin itself, and then the core animation, how the every single circle is animating. So I will highly recommend you guys to subscribe the channel if you haven't already so that you get the notification when I upload the next one. So without any further ado, let's get it started right after this intro. So as we always do, we're gonna create a brand new Flutter project and I'm gonna name it, let me say, mpin, not ping, mpin app, right? So I'm just going to find all the comments by using the regex and replace with the empty character. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and create some folders where we'll be working. So I'll say mpin, right? And then I'm just going to delete the home page. So this is a basic setup. So let's go ahead and create a new page inside mpin folder. I'm going to call uh, mpin page, maybe. Okay. Let's go ahead and import the material package. And after that, I'm going to create stateful widget named mpin page. So this is the page which is going to be part one of the application. And to be honest with you guys, I'm going to reverse the order. So basically we'll be doing the part third first. In this video, we'll be covering the animation stuff, how we can simply create something easy, nice, bouncy animation. Then in part two, we will discuss about the controller and in part third, we will complete this UI page. So let's go ahead and uh, make it a scaffold so that we have something to work with. Perfect. Let's go ahead and give it a run. So now the application is up and running. Let me show you in the simulator. Wow, we have a blank application. <laughs> Nothing exciting, right? We have the blank empty page. And the way we're gonna start is, let's go ahead and add some body to it. So I'll say body with safe area, always prefer to have safe area inside your body. And then I'm going to add a child as container. So basically this is the place where I'll add that animation stuff, that circular animation part. So for that, let's go ahead and create a new file called mpin animation. Okay. And then again, as we do always, I'm going to import material, right? And then use a stateful widget and call it mpin animation. And here I'm going to create that actual container, how it's going to look like. So let's go ahead and give it a hard coded height and width as of now. So I'll say 24 height and width also 24. And let me go ahead and give a color of colored start gray so that you can see on the white screen. Where is it? I can't see because I have not called it. So let's go ahead and replace this container with the newly created control. And you can see right over here. So also I want to make it center so that I can see it properly. Perfect. And maybe I can put some background, nice background, so that you people don't feel that I'm creating some dummy application. It's nice application and you stick till end of the video. So let's go ahead and put this thing inside a stack. And the way I do, I wrap it with a row and then change it to stack. So everything is fine. I'm going to create one more container and provide a decoration. This is simple decoration I'm doing. I know this is a uh, content of part three of the video, but I want to make the application look better as of now. Perfect. So we have the nice gradient to look at. And now quickly I can change this color to white. Perfect. Now it's a nice combination. And this safe area doesn't really look nice over here on the stack. So I'm going to remove it from here and just bring it to the center part. So let's wrap it with safe area. Perfect. So this is just to make the application look nice. And let's go ahead and work on the mpin animation, which is the core part of this animation. So now we have to animate this container. You can do with the different ways. You can use the implicit widget called animated container, or you can create your own animation with the explicit animation. So that is what I'm gonna do in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and make this uh, square rounded. So I'm going to provide the decoration of box decoration. 
and of course when you provide the decoration move the color inside otherwise you're going to get the error and then i'm going to provide the border radius so i'll say border radius uh, come on dot all or maybe i can say circular yeah and then i will say 12 pixel of border so it became round nice and easy so to make the widget animate you can go ahead and provide ticker provider or single ticker provider depending on the multiple animation you're working so we are going to work with a single animation controller so i'm going to use the single ticker provider state mixing what it really does i don't know <laughs> just kidding what it really does is that it synchronizes your animation with the refresh rate of flutter application so that there's no lag there's no uh, skipping of frame so what are we waiting for let's go ahead and create the animation controller and this is something which will drive our animation so i'm going to call it controller maybe yep and then we have to initialize somewhere so i'm going to use the init state for initialization purpose no don't create any jira issue okay so controller is equal to of course animation controller animation come on give me suggestion yep now this is the place for which we have provided the single ticker provider and this is going to sync with the current class perfect it's easy and optionally you can define the duration also here like how much time your animation will play and if you want you can leave that also it's going to take the default value i think it's 300 millisecond the default value but i'm going to define the milliseconds myself 200 milliseconds perfect so we are done with the controller part so our controller is ready now next we have to define how our animation will work so this is the important part i want your full concentration basically what we're going to do is create an animation and that will be of type tween like th this will be the start point and this will be the end point this is how our animation should work so let me show you in the coding it's very easy i'll say animation okay and of course this animation is on double value because we are working with the size so i'm going to define the type and let's say size animation i think i haven't made any spelling mistake yeah that's fine so now we have to initialize this size animation how are we going to do that it's very easy just say size animation is equal to tween animation so this is a simple definition if you want to understand we have initialized the size animation which is of type tween of double it is starts with 24 ends with 72 so when it will animate this is how it will behave and it will animate with the controller let's go ahead and put this animation in the action so instead of this hard coded height and width i'm going to use the size animation dot value and i think by now you have understood how it's going to work so it's going to take the value from the size animation at given point of time so it will be sometime 24 then it will show 24 sometime it will be 48 50 60 and it will reach up to 72 so that's how it will feel like it's growing and that entire thing like from 24 to 72 it will complete in 200 milliseconds perfect so let's go ahead and give it a run the getter value was called a null no issue i'm going to rerun the application and nothing really happened so why nothing happened because we are not starting the animation like nowhere we have said that start the animation now and the way you can do is with controller because controller will be driving your application so i'm going to say controller dot forward so whenever you are going to initialize this user interface that time we're going to start the animation so let's go ahead and have a look one more time nothing really happens you have to call the set state to update the ui and the easiest way to do it is you have to listen to the controller when it is completing so what i can do is below this line i can say controller dot add listener so i'm going to listen to it okay and anything happens inside a controller i want to set the state okay so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to run this animation one more time and now you can see that it's growing because it's in debug mode you can see that glitch so don't blame me on that so what is happening now the radius is not proper when the size increases I want to change the radius as well it should not be 12 so what I'm going to do is make the half of actual width and height so it's always rounded makes sense right so let's go ahead and run one more time now you can see that it's growing again the glitchiness is because of the debug 
thing. Voila, now we are done with scaling the circle. But we have to bring it back as we have seen in the animation of mpin page. So let's go ahead and find a way how we can bring it back. So what I'm going to do is in the controller listener, I'm going to listen for the state. So I'll say if controller, okay, dot status. So whether it has completed, whether it is doing something. So I'm just going to look for animation status dot completed so if it has completed what you do just reverse it so it should work fine let me go ahead and save and give it a rerun so it's growing and shrinking you see so now we have the core animation with us you can see right over here and what I'm gonna do is add a text widget because whenever we are entering some m pin we want to show that text also to the user so that user is aware what he is entering okay so i'm going to go ahead and add the child of text and for now i'm going to just use the hard coded one okay let me see how it looks it is at the top left corner so i'm going to give some alignment okay now it is in center perfect now you can see that the circle is growing but the number it's always there we don't want that so initially it should be hidden and once the circle grows it should scale as well and it should be visible as well we can create one more animation so let's go ahead and duplicate this animation and this time i'm going to call opacity animation okay similar way i'm going to initialize how i did with size controller and this time i'm going to say opacity animation of course it will start with 0 and to 1 remember that opacity ranges from 0 to 1 don't use more than one number because you are going to get the exception at runtime <laughs> okay so the animation is ready it's that simple to add any extra animation and over here i'm going to wrap this text widget to opacity so that we can explicitly control it and i'm going to provide opacity animation dot value so let's give it a run because initially it was null now you see when the circle grows the number appears and when circle shrinks it disappears so that is what we want to achieve when user presses a button right and one more thing i can do quickly over here i can do some scale animation so that the text also grows and shrinks so let me just format it first so on the text widget i'm gonna provide a transformation of scale and let's go ahead and give it a scale of some value so what i'm going to do is use the size animation dot value and of course we don't want to scale 72 times so what we're going to do is divide by some number which will convert the value in the range of one or two now with 48 once the value is 24 it's going to give the scale of 0 0.5 once the value is 72 it's going to give the scale of 1.5 and like that it will just scale a little bit so let's go ahead and give it a run and before that let me just format it as well so now i'm gonna give a rerun now you can see that the circle grows the value also a little bit it increases in size and opacity changes like that and to make it more prompt you can give some style so i'm gonna say theme dot of context so let's go ahead and give it a one more run final time and see how it looks you can see that the circle grows the number also increases in size and the opacity changes so it just gives a feel like you have entered something and in the next video we're going to create a complete m pin widget controller so make sure to subscribe the channel if you want to check some other videos you'll find it over here make sure to give it a thumbs up and write down your feedback in the comment section below i will see you guys in the next one